One of the big announcements at AirVenture 2014 actually happened before the show on uh, Sunday evening with the introduction of this airplane, the MVP. Russ Niles reporting for AvWeb for, from AirVenture 2014 in, in Oshkosh. The MVP is a new take on light sport aircraft. Much more versatility, much more uh, in the way of usability, particularly after the airplane's put away uh, at night. Here's Daryl Linz to tell us all about it. The whole concept started uh, about 10 years ago. I've owned uh, uh, four sport aircraft uh, all together, operated them in all conditions, minus 27 degrees Fahrenheit, plus 100 down in Florida, salt water, fresh water, land and sea. And so really learned a lot about the operation of those airplanes in unfavorable conditions. Okay, for the Mississippi trip was an example um, where, the, you know, I camped on the banks. I learned about camping with a seaplane. I learned about the, the strengths, the weaknesses. Uh, and so that's what this airplane is all about, is that we wanted to develop an airplane Number one, that was more rugged in those situations, that you could operate in a, in a wider range of temperatures, a wider range of conditions of the airplane, be able to take some damage with the airplane and, and, and still not affect your mission. Maximum value proposition, not just most versatile plane. And what that is, is when this aircraft gets to its destination, that's where it separates itself from the field. This airplane keeps working with the customer. It's supporting you at the destination. Forward canopy, it's a really the fundamental feature of the airplane. Okay, so it gets up and out of the way and allows you to do all the things that you saw. So what we're after is, what well, primarily, number one, is docking. Okay, now you have the ability to get up on the airplane, your passenger or yourself, and actually reach forward to help dock. So that's really the number one problem in Amphibs, is they're very tricky. A lot of training required to properly dock. So with the thrusters, the electric thrusters, and the ability to get the canopy out of the way uh, reduces the amount of skill required and the number of incidents in docking of an Anfit. Mike is um, very passionate about the experience of the pilot in the air. Okay, it's a, it's a high lift wing, so it's off the water very quickly. Uh, we're expecting speeds of over 100 miles per hour in the airplane, that's our goal. And the uh, uh, so the flight characteristics, he is, you know, as a designer of the Cirrus Jet, he was the lead designer, and then also uh, uh, very much involved in the fuselage of the SR-20 series. Fly a Cirrus, that's what he thinks. Smooth on the controls, balanced controls, very forgiving aircraft, both in the land and also forgiving when you land on the water. There's, there's treachery there underneath the waves. Next year, there's a lot of exciting things happening below the, uh, the water line of the aircraft. And our goal there is, again, be able to take some damage and still be operational, and to be able to reduce the amount of skill of the pilot for, for rougher conditions. And uh, uh, so that would be uh, uh, for next year. It can be a bass boat, okay? A really fast bass boat with a turbo engine, high altitude uh, lakes, uh, with no roads, imagine uh, imagine the uh, opportunities to fish where no one else can fish. And then when you're done the day, it's your tent. It's $189,000 for the production airplane. The experimental kit is $169,000. Uh, it can be bought either way. The uh, And here's where we are going. As at, 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 those, at those prices, the aircraft, again, gives you the ability of a much wider operating range. Okay, that it's going with you during the mission, throughout the weekend. 